Hey, it's Farron of Farron Celeste. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to program the Cricut so it will cut a shape twice at the same time. I have Cricut Design Space open and a shape already ready to go that I want to cut. I'm going to show you how to tell the Cricut that you want it to go over and cut this shape twice at the same time. This tip can really be helpful with cardstock in helping you get clean cuts. So I've got my shape ready to go that I want to cut, so I'm going to go ahead and click make it. I have my Cricut already turned on as well, so now let's just go ahead and click continue. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place my material setting on the custom setting. I have a Cricut Explore Air, so I just do that by adjusting the dial on my machine to the custom settings. When you have it turned on custom settings, you'll see this appear, browse all materials. So click on that, and then you wanna click on material settings. From here, there's two different ways you can program this. Let's say that you had your Cricut set on the preset setting of cardstock when you're trying to cut your shape and it just didn't cut all the way through the paper. What you can do is where it says cardstock 80 pound or whatever material you were using, you can click here next to it where it says edit. Then under multi-cut on the drop down menu, you can change that to two times or three times or lots of different times, how many times you want to go over. I'm just gonna click on two times and then click save. Now, when you put your machine on the cardstock setting the next time, it'll go over it twice. It'll cut that same shape twice. Now though, in the future, anytime you put your machine on this setting, because we messed with the default settings, it's gonna continue to cut on that setting twice. So if you don't want it to do that, all you have to do is click on edit again and click reset and it'll put it back to the factory settings. Because of that, I like to just go ahead and create my own custom setting that's separate than the default settings. So to do that, I'm just going to make a mental note here. So let's say again that we had tried cutting on the cardstock 80 pound, but it didn't go all the way through the paper. So I'm just gonna remember this cut pressure, the default cut pressure that Cricut has set for this material, which is 299. So now I'm gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom and I'm gonna click on add new material. I'm going to give my new material name. So let's call it cardstock, 80 pound, and I'll just call it double cut because I want it to cut twice. So let's go ahead and click save. Now it'll appear under your custom materials and I'm going to adjust my cut pressure to that number I remembered, which was 299. I'm gonna do that by just moving the slider over to the right. Now, under multi-cut, I'm gonna click on the drop-down menu, change that to two times, and click save. Now let's find it in our list here, so cardstock 80 double cut. So now, I'm just going to click out of this. I'm gonna click done. So now, when I am under my custom material settings, so let's see, say I'm putting my dial on custom settings. If you click on browse all materials again, and then you can just search for it. Search for cardstock 80 pound double cut, and it appears right here. So you can just click on that, or if you just click on this little star next to it, I'm gonna click on the star to add it to my favorites and click on the X to close. Now you'll see it'll appear under my favorites when I put my machine on the custom settings. So I've already got some favorites here that I like to use a lot. So then next time when I come back to a project and I turn my dial to custom settings, it's right there. I can just click on it. And now the Cricut knows it needs to cut that sheet twice. So all you have to do is put your paper on your mat, load your mat into your machine, and then click go. And the machine will know to cut it twice.